What is up my friends? It is 2am and I'm back because we have breaking news. Liverpool Football Club have agreed terms with Brighton for the sale of Moise Caicedo for a staggering record £110 million. This is not a drill. This is real. David Ornstein has tweeted, it has blown up 2am as I said and here I am as promised, delivering another video. You ask what separates Anfield Agenda from the rest of the channels? This is it. We live and breathe it. 2 a.m. and I'm here to give you guys the good news. So, you know what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video and of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So the news broke just after, well, just before half past one. It said quite simply, Liverpool reach agreement with Brighton to sign Moises Caicedo for British record £110 million. The interesting part comes with Brighton setting a 12am deadline for highest bids. They held an auction, midnight was the cut-off point. Chelsea's bid, according to David Ornstein, £100 million. Liverpool, £110 million. David Ornstein goes on to say that a medical has been booked Personal terms are a formality and the Caicedo will undergo this medical today, Friday, in Liverpool. Wow. What a night. We wondered what would happen. We dared to dream. It looks like this one is going to get over the line. So, pressure came. The owners dug deep. The money seems to be there. I don't know as of yet how this deal is structured, if it's going to be all up front, if it's going to be some with some add-ons, how it's going to be spread out. I truly don't know. But what we do know is, as I've stated, Liverpool Football Club have come to a British transfer record agreement with Brighton for the sale of Caicedo. Liverpool's midfield for the upcoming season. Take a seat if you haven't. You might need to. Caicedo, sob it sly, McAllister, that's the rebuild, along with Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, Stefan Bajcic, Thiago Alcantara. It's not too bad. It is not too bad. But there's a lot of work still to be done in this window. We still need that centre-back. We still need potentially another midfield addition. But let's give credit where it's due. Liverpool moved quickly tonight and Liverpool got it done. I mentioned previously that Connor mentioned to me that this reminded him of when we made that move for Sobit Sly, that Liverpool acted ruthlessly and got it done. Tonight, the question was asked, put in your highest bid. Liverpool put in a bid of £110 million. I'm still genuinely gobsmacked here that this has taken place. I'm reading it and reading it and over and over again. Even to as far as to say the medical is booked and personal terms aren't going to be a problem. Our midfield rebuild is McAllister, Sobitzlai and Caicedo. If you had have mentioned to me four, five, six weeks ago that this was possible, I would have thought that you were an absolute lunatic. But we've got it done. Tomorrow, of course, we'll want to know more details on this. We'll want to know what what type of Mercedes Vito he's in. Is it a black one? Is it a silver one? We don't need to track planes because we know Caicedo is in London. Maybe the medical takes place there. I don't know. All that David Ornstein said is that the medical is planned for Friday. If you don't believe me, have a look on the Athletic site yourself. Check out the Anfield Agenda Twitter or any of the big Twitter accounts. And you will see that, yes, it is true. We have bid... £110 million and that bid has been accepted. Right now, I am genuinely just shocked. Shocked. Like, this has been a day that not many of us will forget. So, I want to read out something that was sent to me because I think it sums up this crazy situation perfectly. So, there was a guy on Twitter and I was sent this because... It's so true. Uh, This gentleman's name is Barry. So Barry, you've made my night as well as the transfer dude. Thank you. I'm going to read it out. He said, I feel genuinely sad for all the well-adjusted people in the fan base who went to bed at a reasonable time and didn't let a transfer ruin their sleep schedule. This was one for the ages. Absolutely spot on. This was one for all of us. This is one for the plane trackers. This is one for the people who are looking for Mercedes Vitos all over Liverpool, standing outside train stations, staying up all night hoping for that Paul Joyce tweet, that Fabrizio tweet, that David Ornstein tweet. Tonight moved very quickly to see Liverpool get from a point of view. And look, 
I've had some friends who are close with journalists who have been telling me that they think maybe Chelsea. It was still a feeling that Liverpool came to this too late, but we've gotten it done. We've gotten the agreement. I don't know at this point if there is any outside possibility of of Chelsea up in the bid because Brighton set a deadline. So I believe Chelsea will most likely turn now, turn their attentions to Lavia, try and get him in. Brighton set this midnight deadline for the highest bids. Chelsea came in at 100, Liverpool at 110. And as I said, we're sitting here now with the here we go. It's amazing. This is, I dare to say, this is a midfield rebuild that none of us, and I mean none of us, would have dreamt of at the start of the window. So the obvious question for a lot of people now is going to be, does this clear everything from FSG's closet? For me, no, but thank you. I'm never going to not give credit for something like this. So same as when we brought in Darwin, thank you. Thank you to those people for actually signing a cheque. Thank you for letting us fans go into the season with some hope in our hearts that we can actually challenge. But that's what we should be doing. And in fairness to them, this rebuild will probably last Liverpool three, four, five years. Yes, we'll need to add another body next summer when Thiago leaves, but ultimately, we've done a great job. We've credited Real Madrid's rebuild with Camavinga, with Bellingham, of course, one that we missed out on in so many. But we've done equally as well ourselves. We might not be in the Champions League this season, but I dare to say we'll be back in it next season. This allows us to dream. We look forward to seeing him unveiled, looking forward to hearing the first interview and looking forward to hopefully a season where, in my humble opinion, Liverpool could be challengers for the Premier League title. That's how highly I regard this midfield now. And we still have Bojcetic coming through and Joan showing the form that he's in and Elliot looking like a pressing machine. It ain't too shabby. And I guess the question is, why do we leave it this late? Why weren't we making this offer earlier in the window? But... As long as it gets done now, this is far better than hearing of us not poning up the money for Lavia. This is far better than wondering where we're going back in for Ryan Gravenberch. This is Caicedo. This is one of the best statistically measured footballers in the Premier League. It's fantastic. I can't wait. I just hope we get more news tomorrow and we can come here to you guys and we can celebrate this together. We will, of course, be live as always tomorrow at half past eight. Make sure you're with us tonight. We had over 10,000 people concurrently in the live chat when we were on. So thank you for your amazing support. I hope you stayed up as late as I did to celebrate this monumental evening. Let me know in the comments section how you're going to enjoy and celebrate this one. But this is one for us late night owls. This is one for us daydreamers. And dare we say it, I hope Jürgen's a happy man right now because he can look forward to a season where... I think we're going to see some silverware. Over to you, my friends. Thank you for your time today, as always. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.